There are no words to explain the pain that I go through every day without Landon and my remaining children. Our big story tonight, an Arizona mother is sentenced to 10 and a half years in prison for the shooting death of her nine-year-old son. Wendy Lavarnia claims her two-year-old daughter pulled the trigger of the gun that she left on the bed. She wound up pleading guilty to manslaughter and attempted child abuse. Her sentence was on the lenient side considering those charges. Team 12's Ryan Cody is bringing us her emotional statement tonight. Ryan? But she did ask for leniency and did take responsibility for the shooting. The judge also taking into consideration the fact she's losing her three living children to DCS for good, or at least until they're legal adults because of a tragic incident we might never fully understand. And this is one of the more difficult cases I've ever had. Uh, just because of the facts and circumstances. The facts are murky. Wendy Lavarnia says she left a gun on her bed and her two-year-old son accidentally shot his older brother. Even under her version, there's no reason to take a handgun out of the closet and place it on the bed where there's a bunch of children. But the state says her story is a lie. Anybody who's ever fired a 9 millimeter handgun knows the kind of recoil that a gun like that produces when you shoot it. Saying the mother of four had substance abuse issues and blaming a two-year-old, likely a story to avoid jail time. I just want to start off by taking full responsibility for my actions. But now, clean and sober, facing a judge with her fate in his hands, Lavarnia breaks down. I will have to live with this for the rest of my life, never seeing my son, but only my dream. There are no words to explain the pain that I go through every day without Landon and my remaining children. I'm sorry that the lives of my remaining children were changed drastically on that horrible day losing their brother, their mother, their father. So I'm sorry to my little babies and I love them with all my heart. The children's father, once arrested for his alleged involvement in the shooting, took his own life on Father's Day last year. And in the end, the judge taking it all into consideration. Be imprisoned in the Arizona Department of Corrections for the presumptive term of 10 and a half years. Now, when Lavarnia is released, she will have to abide by a number of conditions, including no drugs or alcohol. Mark and Kribe. All right, Ryan, thank you.